אמר רבי אחי ורבי יושע, כל המצטט בנשים סוף בא לידי עבירה. The Gemara is telling us that anybody who looks at women at the end will finish off לעלינו with sinning. וכל המפנה עצמו מן העבירה ולא עשהו, but one who saves himself, one who avoids and holds him back, holds himself back from sinning, אפילו הוא ישראל, even though he is not a Levi or a Kohen, he's just an Israel, like most of us, ראוי הוא להעלות עולה ככהן גדול על גבי המזבח. He now becomes at the same level of not just the Kohen, not any ordinary Kohen, the Kohen Gadol who brought a Korban to Mizbeach. Every single Yehudi, when they are at that, the Gemara is telling us, when they are at that crossroad, look or don't look, by holding yourself back, you get to that level. We're soon going to see what that level means. Shene'emar, Vaishlach et nare b'nei Yisrael v'eru orot. And then the Gemara continues, וכל מי ששם עצמו נקי מן העבירה. Anybody who completely saves themselves from this עבירה, בעולם הזה ולא עשה, and he did not do it, נהנה מזיו השכינה לעולם הבא. If in this world a person, is, we, we learned this concept, if in this person in the world saves himself from sinning with one's eyes, which will lead to improper relationships or touching, chas v'shalom, anything of the sort, then they will have the merit to see the Shekhinah in Olam Haba. So look what the Shomer Emunim, the Slon Rebbe, he explains a beautiful concept. He says, based on this Gemara, when an individual now has the opportunity, or the challenge, better yet said, of looking at something inappropriate, and we will reiterate whether that's live or whether it's in a book, in a magazine, on, on a telephone, on a TV, all of the above has shalom. A person's at that crossroad and he decides to use his God-given eyelids to close his eyes or his God-given twisting of the neck and turns himself away. We think it's so hard but it's just, it, it takes a blink of a second to close, to close our eyes. And he does that. He says, the Shomer Emunim says, a person has koach hatfila, the power of prayer, just as a Kohen Gadol, bringing up a Korban. And I remember as, as a Bakhur, I remember I was younger, this was before I even, I was like in high school, and we learned about the Inyanim, the concepts of Shmirat Enayim. And... They told us, whenever you have that opportunity, close your eyes, and before opening your eyes, pray to HaKadosh Baruch Hu for something. Whatever it is, guaranteed. Rabbi Moshe Al-Shef, he also says, he takes it further, he says that we see, and we know from the Pesukim, he brings the Pasuk that says, in it, that says as follows, ish et Hashem hafetz me'od. So he says over here, and he explains, that HaKadosh Baruch Hu has to, fulfill the will of a tzaddik. And at that moment, when a person overcomes the temptation, they look away or close their eye, they are now labeled a tzaddik for that moment, for that issue. And their power of tefillah not only has to be answered, but HaKadosh Baruch Hu wants to answer and fulfill the will of that individual. Thank you for listening to the Guard Your Eyes Daily Chizuk Broadcast. Pass them on to your friends and help spread Kedusha in the world.